was late last night in Port Moresby when, to the sound of gunfire, police blocked one of the men claiming to be Prime Minister on his way to see the Governor-General that Papua New Guinea's constitutional deadlock lurched into national crisis. On one side of the stalemate is the country's elder statesman, its first and three times Prime Minister, Sir Michael Samare. But now he has the backing of the country's Supreme Court to say he should be back running the country as PM. The legitimate government of Sir Michael, as at the 2nd of August, has now been fully restored by the due process of law. After police forced him back from visiting the Governor-General's last night, Peter O'Neill took a different and provocative tack today, convening Parliament and taking to the government benches as the Speaker announced that not only was Mr O'Neill still the Prime Minister, but that Sir Michael Samari was, after a recent parliamentary vote, no longer an MP, let alone the PM. Honourable Parliament have effectively removed the former Prime Minister. He is now an ordinary person. By mid-afternoon, the contest for the Prime Ministership was threatening to turn into no more than a race to see the Governor-General. Peter O'Neill made another move to enter Government House, this time backed by dozens of allied MPs. But after breaking through a cordon, they were driven back by armed police. But that was no indication, it seems, of the Governor-General's view on who should rule. The Secretary appeared later to announce that the Head of State was confused by the court's decision. Hardly words to calm the situation. Sir Michael Samari and his supporters appeared in the chamber today demanding to be given a seat. There's a forum, there's a stranger! There's a stranger. Yesterday, you would remember, 2nd of August 2011, when we made an unprecedented move invoking Section 142 of the Constitution to elect you as the Prime Minister. I am proud, absolutely proud. I do not regret. I did everything under the sun to protect you as the Prime Minister. You know, I went as far as going into the Chief Justice Chambers because I wanted to protect you, myself, and the government that we fought. How much low can this regime go? They were take, they are taking very, very fundamental institutions of government. We stand on this side for the defense of the constitution. There is the citizen's right. There is the citizen's, citizen's final resting place. When everything else fails, citizens of this country run to the judiciary. Where else can he go if the judiciary is attacked and flaunted by real of politicians like this? The newly elected Prime Minister received congratulatory and supportive messages from both sides of the House. For giving this highest honor and privilege to occupy the office of the Prime Minister, Papua New Guinea. 